Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarcucci and like I said, I was going to make it out to Caldwell and Port Aransas to wet some lines and stuff like that. However, this is a very oh, messed up situation. I brought my kayak, brought my paddle, brought my vest, brought the pedal drive, and I forgot the seat for this kayak. I was like, well, it's something that I kind of always wanted to test out was, you know, sitting lower in the kayak and how would it work out and stuff like that. And well, I said, well, here's a prime example for me to test it out. So what's going on right here is I made it to the end of the pier and this is after coming halfway up the pier and realizing I didn't have my vest on so I went back to the shallows to go look for it thinking it fell, fell off the back end of the kayak. Well, <clears throat> it didn't so I got the vest on and turned around and came to the end of the pier and as I was waiting for the guys to uh, get the baits into the water for me, you know, I had to keep the kayak steady into the waves and stuff and uh, ensure I was good to go because if you catch them sideways here, there's a very good chance that you can get rolled on it. And I really wasn't trying to do that. You know, it's, I mean, I've gotten rolled plenty of times. It's just, yeah, I didn't feel like getting completely soaked right now. So, uh, and also too, since I was so close to the pier, I didn't want to take a chance of using the rudder system or the PDL, the pedal drive system, to control my line or whatever. And uh, I think you just got jacked, bro. I'm out here on the pier right now and, yep. Uh, buddy's line, his king, king rig just got smashed and they jacked his bait. So, yep. Well, let me get back to this video. <laughs> All right, so here's the breakdown of what's happening. I'm on the front end of the pier and we got some high winds, some pretty big swells and waves coming at me. But what ends up happening is right under the pier right there, if I go any further back, there's a suction of wind that is coming from on top of the pier underneath the pier and it sucks us in because the wind that's already coming across the water surface is also there at one time. So basically it's creating a funnel to suck me underneath the pier and that's a bad situation to be in because most of those waves when they come through they want to suck you all the way in and get you rolled over underneath the pier and right there I was picking up the first bait of the big count of stingray however you know I was on the good graces of a buddy of mine and a tourist that was out here to help us out and try to get the two baits ran at the same time since I did not have the seat to the kayak I knew I was going to get pretty beat up and I only had a few runs in me so I was hoping to get the majority of the run you know for these two baits which was a T-Rex 80 and a T-Rex 130 the T-Rex 80 I was throwing about a 12 pound count I was on and the T-Rex 130 I was doing the uh, large Jack Gravel and that one was about a 25 to 30 pounder um, with my son with me, I was hoping that we can get onto something big, and yeah, there's big waves coming in, and I could see them coming. I didn't want to be right next to the pylon where I picked up this bait, so I had to push out and go forth, but at the same time, too, I should have told him to take up the slack until I could get situated up on top, and I didn't do that. Well, that's going to end up costing me, and you'll see why here in a bit.
hole right here. So when I got out to where I wanted to go and drop my first bait, I realized that my whole leader system was all tangled up from the get-go. And I don't know how it got so tangled, but as I was trying to untangle it, I was like, you know what, let me, let me pull the line tight again. So I went into the pedal drive and pedaled and really got it all tangled because then they got all to stuck in the pedal drive. So with that in mind, I am going to go back to the drawing board and I'm going to have some friends engineer me a little deal that I can add on to my pedal drive to ensure that this never happens again because that really sucks when the line gets tangled up in there. And yeah, so basically I was all, you know what, maybe they can get it in fast enough before the waves get bigger. But as I was sitting out there, they were just increasing. The wind was gnarly. And, you know, without the seat, my back was really, really hurting me because I was basically leaning up against about a little four-foot section. It's a storage compartment for the kayak. And yeah, I'm telling you, there was some monster waves out there, guys. And, uh, yeah. And also, too, since I was sitting so low in the kayak and all the waves, when I would do get hit and stuff like that, there was a lot of the... Uh, jellyfish that were in the water right there and so yeah i was getting stung but luckily for me that it wasn't the portuguese man of war stingray or jellyfish because that would have really really hurt me so yeah that's when i finally made the call i was like yeah i, I can't do it i gotta go and head back in and it was more for safety reasons than anything because as hurt as i was um trying to hold my my space there I also didn't want to take a chance of flipping way out there and be too drained from the awkward position of leaning back with no lower lumbar support while I was kayaking. But as you can see, that kayak is very, very stable. It's just, you know, when you want, you're so used to moving a certain way and you get taken out of that way, it really does suck. So, but I am going to continue fishing and we're going to check out the rest of our deal. We caught some fish, so stay tuned, because it's going to be hammer time, hammer time, hammer time.
Are you gonna handle it? Bigger ones on the channel though. Get get it all untangled and I'll show you how to how to wrap it up and stow it, bro. Look what I caught. That was great for that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All the way over there? You do, you do. Why don't y'all do me a big favor? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. There you go, Jay. There you go, Josh. Hey, you got it. <laughs> you got it, bro. Oh, 
Hey, from here, from here, from here, from here all the way to the end of the pier, all the way to the end of the pier, all the way over there. Hold on, baby, hold on. 